Yeah, here we are again. I'm going to continue. So, where were we? Like developing some pictures that we took. I'm going to continue that and only for an hour then it's dinner time after dinner i will be back well not bad so far not bad so far okay i think we need this picture that one got taken at the lake let's have a look see One, two, three, four. In both with you. Hey, bossy. Hello there. Welcome back, mate. Welcome back. Oppa. There we have a new picture. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. Yeah, indeed, we're trying to save her. Though fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. We still have other pictures as well, right? Let's see what else we have. Here we have something else, look. Oh my god! Ah, oh, Jens, mate! <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, that was the exact right moment, yes. That was the exact right moment. God... Damn! Thank you. Ah. Oh. Damn. Now you're going to have me a lot in this game. Definitely. Whoops, he says. <laughs> yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. What's this? This is like something weird. <laughs> Stain is a pig. Stain is a pig. Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. That's all I have. We don't have more pictures than that. 
But it's uh, time to head out, I guess. Let's see. So, camera at the lake. Um, done, 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 done. These are all things that are done. So now, newspaper. Let's see. We've done the newspaper. The soul in the photo. They say that taking photos of people steals their souls. I hope to preserve my sister's soul. Take a photo of Martha. Um... Yeah, okay. Take a photo of Martha. I need to take a photo of Martha. Oh, oh. When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. Yeah, the game is good so far. The game is good so far. Um, we've played like... I don't know, how long did we play? Two hours? Before I uh, took a break? Two hours? I wouldn't have taken a break, but my sister-in-law was here with the kids to show their um, smallest baby. So, uh, yeah, I had to take a break. I didn't have to, but... <laughs> Was a, oh my god, not again! Jens, mate, two times in a row, you freaking... <laughs> uh, god damn! Num nut! God damn, mate! No, no, no! Ah! Oh my goodness, two times in a row. Let's observe the camera. I took, yeah, you see? Model 1. Model 2. I take model 2. Yeah. Did I do that? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, you did, you moron. There we go. Actually. We have, look, macro lens. No, that's not what we need. Indoor photos and wide panoramas. Shooting distant subjects or getting close ups. Uh, distant objects. Blue and greens tend to make reds. It was the, the blue one for indoors, right? Useful with artificial light. Oh, no. What is this? Infrared. <laughs> that one. It's actually just out of focus, so... It's just out of focus. Okay. So maybe... I should... Out of focus. There we go. This is in focus. Opa. Done. It would be nice to have you always by my side, even if it's just a picture. Yeah, so um, the game is good, Stan, for uh, what I've done so far. Two hours gameplay. Now I'm going to play for a little hour. 
then it's dinner time then we're going to continue but for what have we've done so far it's a nice story it's completely fucked up because i'm playing one part of a twin and one of them is dead and i know i'm not martha martha is my sister and she's dead but my mother thinks that coolia is dead which is me but i'm still here so and my dad thinks the right thing that coolia is still here which is me but martha is dead which is also me because i took her identity can you still follow <laughs> it's a quite interesting game yeah it messes with your mind that's why it's a psychological horror game A photograph is both the present and the past, like a dead body. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe it's silly to think you can capture the soul of someone who has died. Her face can't tell me anything anymore. I know that, really. Her lack of expression scares me. I don't even know whether to keep this blank photo with me or just throw it away. Alrighty. So now I need to talk with the lady in white, actually. The white lady. The spirit of the white lady lives in the lake. Nanny always told me her story before going to sleep. Could it have some truth in it? Requirements, the tarot cards and go to the lake. Hmm. Tarot cards. Mommy took my tarot cards. Nanny and I used to play with them when I was little. Find the tarot cards. They must be hidden, but who knows where. I could start by looking in my parents' room. Okay. Fair enough. What are we going to find here? Oh, tarot card. No, that is it. Dear mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. I'm pregnant? What? I'm not. Tarot cards. Yes. Bingo. Here are my cards. 
Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Erene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I oh my god. The simplicity of the housing Pino is uh, activating my I mic. I'm sorry. My dad's parrot is here, so the, the talking that you hear in the background is Try her. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door? And locked? whistling. It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. <laughs> Jens, mate. Seriously. We'll have to deactivate there are more it. More weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. Third time is a charm. Third time means that the other two times didn't work. They did. <laughs> they did. Leave me alone now. <laughs> this is my jewelry. She wears them every day. Hey, Elsa Rose. Even Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to Elsa. show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't Good afternoon. To reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. Don't forget, folks, that this is an 18 plus game. And uh, we already saw parts that are not for children's eyes, so keep that in mind. This is a drawing of a baby in a tummy, you see? In in a weird artistic way. Let's go. Okay, we need to go outside. Let's go out. We need to go to the lake. Go to the lake. Okay, the lake is... Where was the lake again? It's a long way. No? The lake is over here.
This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. Security matters, yeah. So, this is also a side of the story. I'm apparently German. My dad is a German general, so he's actually SS. And we're playing in 1944, July 1944. So, um, yeah, I'm actually an SS daughter. Uh, what is this? This is a crossbow. <laughs> Lots of flies. Of flies, lots of flies. Ah, uh, yeah, for loved. Am I still going into the right direction? No, I'm going back. So this is not good. I'm going back, which is not good. You have to go there, probably to the left. We need to go here. That's how we need to go. I was laughing, right? Oh my god. And he does it again. But now I, uh, crap, I lost. Shit, what was it? Fuck. Oh God, please no. Lapo, my dear friend. What have they done to you? Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Dear Julia, 
Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself to that. <laughs> What the fuck? Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel! Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch! Scheiße, lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie liegt im Sterben. Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. Ah, this is nice. My, and the whole time my control was vibrating. This really let you immerse even more into the game. The vibrating of the control. It vibrates at the exact right moments. It's really well done. And it goes from little vibrations to large vibrations. Really cool. So I got shot by the Germans and now they are shitting their pants because I'm my dad is their Strangely boss. enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Now I see with my eyes. were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, 
and Martha the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Yeah, in the together? heat. No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. This is really a fucked up story, man. Oh, um, oh, girls are cool. I need to get my sweater. Oh. Uh, boven in het bad kan. Ik ben even vergeten van mol. Alrighty. Ja. Yeah. Nou, 25. 25 minutes. <laughs> And every time that something happens, every time I wake up in Martha's bath, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with this fucked up story, mate? New chapter, The Burial. The Burial. Okay, just a second guys, I'm just going to put on my sweater. I'm having cold. Uh, I will be right back.
Here we are again. Okay. No. Controller. I'm playing with controller, right? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, something's missing. Maybe I should take my clothes. Wait a minute. No, no, no. My bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Those Germans have my back. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be all right. I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. <coughs> so I still didn't go to the white lady. Eh? Okay. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death. Yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Eric. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? Oh my god, did you just see that? Of course not. That crow the killed them. You know, with all of How do they call it in English? A red chest? <laughs> That's quite too literally. It's a way of coping so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Where's my bag? Too much. My bag, where is my bag with my stuff? That's uh a robin. Is it called a robin? Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah, here here it is a yeah. If I literally translate how we call it, it's a red chest. There's my bag. <laughs> a robin, yeah. Ah, my bag. Here is my bag. Whew. Is everything still in it? Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Yes, here it is. Yes. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? Robin rest red well. chests. Oh, ah, okay. No one else can ever so red chests is, is not, not even, even that far-fetched. <laughs> That's a literal translation of how we call it. To that fact. I have to stay hidden and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. 
Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha. That is when it's not too sunny outside, the 200 ISO film works well. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. General Edic K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. The German resistance on the Are those lines the two fronts? Nah. Okay, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to read the newspaper again. The 20th of July, we are one day further, so let's start with that. There's something, oh, something here as well. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great shorten it to I Robin. decided to go okay. back to the lake in an attempt to communicate Alrighty. with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. This is a fucked up story, my shit. I like it. <laughs> it is a screwed up story. Appearances. There are those who betray me and speak ill of me, but someone will know how to give me the right advice. Okay, cool. Right, ah, uh, newspaper. Attempted murder in Laura Mola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. <laughs> New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. 
The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh, my Lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Oh, my God. Julia. My little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I... I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow. What is happening? Yeah. I told Do you have Nanny a day or two? That had happened. <laughs> she was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two. A part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Wow. Wouldn't want to be around her, she causes so much death. Yeah. Well, causing it? I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing is for certain, it's a... Oh, she's gone. It's a fucked up Martha story. Was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Now let's to call, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not going to call anybody. I don't need to call anybody. Do I? Do I need to call anybody now? Nah. Now oh, wait. What was that number? Six nine three four. Six nine three four.
six. Nine. Three. Four. You've called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them, otherwise you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph, town on fire, to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life... Maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? To cut the cable, I will need sharp scissors. Tailor scissors should be fine. We're going to help the partisans. We're not going to help the, the Germans. Come on. That's not what we're going to do. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. Scissors. I need a pair of scissors. Oh, the kitchen. Let's go have a look in the kitchen. Nope. Oh. Here's the kitchen. Oh, scissors. Wait, I do have scissors. I have scissors. I have scissors. What is this? A camera? A new skin unlocked. Well, let's have a look. Oh, I'm in the dark again. I don't see in the dark. Wait, stop. Wait a minute. Put the thing in the back. Let's go stand in the light so then we can see the camera. In the light. Oh my god. I don't see anything. Is it that hard? Take the camera. Yeah, look at the camera. Ah. Wow. Skins. No skin. Skin one. Skin two. Oh yeah, baby. So a lot is about this camera and taking pictures and developing pictures. So this is actually an upgraded photo studio simulator whatever all right i'm <laughs> i'm going to end it here again uh it's dinner time here i promise after dinner i will be back um there's lots here that i need to do boom, 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 boom. communication blah 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 okay so Let's save. Um, there we go. I'm going to take a break here, folks. Um, after dinner, I will be back. We're going to continue. I'm uh, pretty intrigued. Um, one thing we know already, it is a fucked up story, right? 
Um, only I know how it all goes. And still. And yet. I don't know. <laughs> Screwed up. But one thing is for certain now. We're going to have the partisans and not my dad, the SS guy. So let's see how it unfolds tonight. See you all then. Bye-bye.